up guys this is just a video of one of our latest axle revisions that we've come up with for the E46 chassis and a Nissan R200 diff so you've probably seen some of our axle configurations before where we make a, a billet axle with a custom spline at each end and this can be configured for anything that you like traditionally it's been for a an outer CV for a BMW E46 or an E30 and then a spine configured at the other end for a Nissan R200 CV joint to go on so that, that can adapt the diff in the cradle that we mount out to the standard BMW outer but as you know a lot of those are still uh, you know, they still have a weak point of the outer CV cup and CV hardware so what we've now done is, is we've started to make billet outer stubs which you've seen in previous videos of our E30 this is our latest version for the E46 this is a, a single piece of billet alloy that we've heat treated and machined up to replicate the spline of a E46 M3 or a 330 CI sized hub spline and that then goes straight into the wheel hub as it used to do before with the standard cup except this time we've made it adapt to a 108 mil PCD aftermarket CV which you can find the same in Porsche 930s or Commodores or there's some other cars that use this size universal CV joint this is a lot stronger than what the BMW has in their cup configuration so the idea of all this here is I'll just piece it all together and explain we go into the BMW wheel hub we then bolt a CV joint that I'll just explain onto that that then has a cup on it which the boot can go onto which then goes onto the axle so that sorts out the outer side with a sealed greased up section there these splines obviously cut to go into these CV joints and at the other end we've married it up with the same type of CV joint so we have a uniform diameter 28 spline at each end and that goes onto the same type of CV joint at this end which then poses the problem of having to adapt this to the Nissan R200 stub axle that goes in the diff, which is one of these. This is a 3x2 configuration, which is commonly found in, say, an S15. These don't generally pose to be a weak point at this stage from what we've seen. So we haven't yet made this piece or replicated this piece in billet aluminium, oh, sorry, in billet alloy like we have with the outers. So we've made an adapter ring which will bolt to the Nissan cup or the Nissan stub axle rather and that bolts on there with those two holes and then that bolts or adapts the 108 mil CV to that which then means we have a complete stub axle to stub axle solution which makes it nice and strong for an E46 R200 we don't know what the application or horsepower rating is of this application but it is the biggest uh, physical dimension component we can make to fit into the stock trailing arm we think this is going to handle most street use the fuse will probably be the tires um, until we see a breakage we don't know what else needs to be upgraded as i said we're still using stock nissan inner here but we don't think that's as much of a problem as what the outers have been for the bmw side and certainly the axles or the factory axles so this is our latest revision and we expect this to be a pretty good thing for you know an LS swap D46 or a turbo S54 or whatever it is you want to put into the car and we'll continue to develop these products and configurations for other chassis and other models as we need to or as we get asked to do which um, yeah we think will be a quite a popular thing the beauty of this all of this as well is of course these CV joints as they wear out or become a bit tired you can just buy another one and pop it in it just bolts in provided we don't have a major failure where something breaks one of our expensive components here because these are quite costly to make um, they're about $2,500 for a pair of these but they are a solution that should be a set and forget for the rest of the vehicle's life and yeah we, we look forward to getting more of these out to you guys so that they can be made to complete your project and solve the rear end problems that we seem to have with these cars um, yeah let us know what you think or if you've got any specific configuration you'd like us to entertain putting together for you we can certainly do it as a one-off they're always more expensive to do but we've
put all this into a CNC program now and can make these quite quickly. So it's uh, uh, been a long time coming and we've had a bit of a delay on it, but uh, we feel that we're there now and, and hence we're showing you the video of uh, what we've come up with and letting you guys know that it's now available. So yeah, look forward to your feedback on these and hopefully uh, we get a few out the door and, and see how they go real time.